Hey everybody, it's Laser Beam of Truth, and uh, today I'm going to show you a project that I kind of started on it a little while ago, and I haven't really done anything with it. Uh, it's been sitting in the pole barn out here, but I'm going to get started working on it pretty soon. I've just been kind of waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit, and when I uh, when the weather does get warm, I'm going to really kind of get going on this thing. Um, basically, what I'm going to show you is my uh, biomass gasification system that I'm about to build here. Um, unfortunately, I have a kind of a wimpy welder, and my welder, uh, it, uh, by the way, that's, that's how we uh, move the snow around here, <laughs> six feet of snow blowing power. Anyways, um, the welder that I've got is unfortunately, uh, it's just a 110 uh, volt welder. It's not a super high intensity welder. Um, but basically what I've got here is the inside jacket of a water tank, a water heater. Um, you can see the foam insulation that's still right there. Um, okay, and so basically I'm going to plug up that hole. I may use it as an out port, I'm not sure. Um, but those holes on the bottom, I'm going to plug those up. I'm not sure. I may, I may just cut those off and then weld them. As you can see, there's the top where all of the... Uh, parts came out. And I had the, uh, a local steel place um, cut me these plates. Um, these are 3 16 inch, inch steel. They're the same diameter on the outside there. I think, uh, I can't remember, I think it's 18 inches. Anyways, um, I'll show you how this is going to end up working out. <coughs> okay, this is a rotor from my car. Got shot, but uh, I'm going to use this in the project as well. Um, this is a six and a half inch diameter well casing and the well casing is going to get welded onto this piece right here and this is going to be my burn chamber okay that, this is where pyrolysis is going to take place and once I get that welded around that seam right there I'm going to weld this disc inside here and it's going to have a little bit of overhang as you can see and then I'm going to take this section and it's going to go with the, the, the tube and the um, wellhead is going to go down inside of this. Okay, and what I'm going to end up with is, um, that's about two and a half feet. So I'm going to end up with a burn chamber that goes down to about here. Okay, and then uh, I will light it from the top. So I'll just open the top and then I'll put some wood and biomass inside there and then what happens is uh, I'm going to use some sort of a, su a suction system and either this hole or this hole I'm going to suck the gas out of the burn chamber um, and this will be a, a stratified downdraft gasifier okay so now some of you are probably going, what in the hell is he talking about? And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of good resources. I highly, highly recommend you go check out Victory Gas Works. Um, Victory Gas Works has an actual online social media uh, place where you can go and talk to people that have built gasification systems. This is very old technology for those of you who don't know what this is. Um, they built about a million gasification systems during World War II uh, and they powered vehicles with these things, um, you know, all, all through Europe during the World War II time because, of course, there was petrol shortages and people couldn't get gas. So um, what my intention to do, though, is um, this is going to be an attempt to build a stationary power source uh, for uh, running a stationary generator. So I'm not exactly sure... Um, if those of you who are watching this uh, are... most of you are probably going to be preppers. Um, and just basic kind of survivalist techniques um, but this is something that's more or less you know it's it's prepping for the long haul um, it's prepping for a, a future where we no longer have gas uh, or, or gas is incredibly expensive so the object here is to to find a way to actually power you know the house or whatever with biomass um, and that can be anything from manure to wood chips to just anything that's flammable basically um, you know I've even heard of some people burning rubber in gasifiers you know rubber chips um, 
you know, rubber burns. So um, I, I don't think I'll ever be doing that. But, um, you know, basically I just kind of wanted to uh, throw this out there. Any of you actually have any experience building a gasifier? I'd really like your input on this. Uh, as far as the dimensions, if you think maybe I ought to use a different um, size uh, piece of diameter pipe for my interior burn chamber, I'd like to know about that. Um, but this is what I've got laying around. I, I just happen to have about a 25 foot long hunk of well casing uh, that was it's just been rusting in the back field here for 20 years. And uh, so I'm just kind of trying to make use of what's around here. This. Uh, Water heater was uh, in a junk pile at my neighbor's place to the north here, and I just rode up there and <laughs> grabbed this and took uh, took the insulation off of it, and this is what I've got. So, anyways, um, I just kind of wanted to share this project with you, and I encourage folks, um, preppers and non-preppers alike, to get out there and uh, learn how to how to construct these types of you know power generating devices. I'm also going to be working on this summer a couple of wind turbines. And uh, I may also uh, construct, construct some solar panels. So anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you this project. Um, kind of get it out there. Kind of spread the word to other folks that might be wondering how they're going to power and heat their places. Obviously, you can use the gas from a biomass gasifier to burn, you know, heat things. Uh, from what I understand, you can actually get some incredibly hot heat. Uh, from the gas from a biomass gasifier. Um, I've even seen on uh, Victory Gasworks YouTube channel um, where he has melted pop cans in a matter of seconds. Um, so, I mean, he can, he can get some incredible heat out of the ones he makes. Of course, he's building them like professional grade steel and he's got a lot of experience. Um, but anyways, um, just wanted to share that with you. Hope you uh, enjoyed my introduction to the gasifier project. I'm going to post more videos as the gasifier project moves along. Once things warm up this summer, or at least in the springtime, I'm going to start working on it some more. So take care. God bless. Laser Beam of Truth. Signing out. I was up this morning at about, I don't know, 6 o'clock in the morning, and it was still dark out. Let my dog outside, and uh, I saw this really bright star, and it was basically um, to the... Uh, to the east, was, I would say it's east, east, south, like east, straight east is that way, it was kind of that way a little bit, so it was a little bit to the south of perfectly straight east, but anyways, uh, it must be some sort of planet, so I went into the storage unit and I grabbed my telescope and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get a good look at whatever it was uh, tomorrow morning. I'm going to get up early and videotape it, or at least uh, I'm going to videotape if I see anything. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to actually get a, a, a good view down the, down the pipe here. But, you know, at the very least, if I do see something there that's kind of interesting, I'll share it with everybody. Let everybody know that there's, uh, that there's something there to look at. I'm thinking it was Jupiter, because it was huge. Whatever, it was very bright. Um, but anyways, just wanted to let, let you know about that. I'm kind of show you my telescope here. <laughs>